Hello Reddit, I'm looking again for constructive feedback. After posting it here the last time, I have received really some good feedback and addressed many issues in this version. And instead of just giving you the new design, I'm making the theme completely editable. This version comes with the dark theme and the light theme, which you can edit. I'll show you the program for one minute and then I'll show you how you can design the theme. In short, you have tabs on top, you have um, sidebars with favorites that you can organize in groups by projects, for example. Then you have main browser pane, you have preview at the bottom, and you have breadcrumbs on the top. So breadcrumbs can be expanded into columns navigation, so if you drag it and leave it like this, you have a full hierarchy of folders. So if I open demo, list here. If you prefer dual panel file managers, you can drag the resizer from the side and then you have the second window pane. So since Microsoft doesn't have consistent UI in Windows 10, even across their own programs, I tried something else, but I have made theme user editable. Once Windows has consistent guidelines on how each part of the UI in Windows 10 should look like, I will make into it, it into a default theme. The best thing about this version is that you, can, that you are able to create skins for it by editing template files. So for example, if you prefer Firefox looking tabs, you can uh, make those if you like it. So this again is a functional alpha version that you can download and use. It is not production ready yet, but this is also an opportunity to influence the direction of development. So if you just want to uh, change the accent color, you can do it from settings. So if I open settings and let's say red, this is the red accent color and it changes every, everything uh, related to the accent color. And for regular users, uh, they can also change uh, font size to make it more touch friendly or into a more uh, information dense UI but as a default I leave it something closer to what Windows File Explorer has and let's go back to the blue color so uh, to create a theme or let's say to edit the theme you go to the program folder then there will be a templates folder uh, sorry, a themed folder, and then you have dark acrylic and default theme. Default theme is the uh, light one. So let's edit a dark acrylic theme. So if I open it, uh, there you will find here dark acrylic XAML file. XAML is um, something like a combination of CSS and HTML in one. So let me edit it in Notepad++. It is the best if you have some program that has syntax highlighting for XML or XAML. And you can go to, lang if you're using one, uh, Notepad++, you can go to languages and switch to XAML to see the coloring. So most parts should be self-explanatory and just changing hex color values, margins, rounding, will uh, let you do a lot. So let's let's try to change the background of the file Spain into some other color. So let's see, files panel border background. Um, let's see, three one three eight four seven. These are hex color values. You save the file, then go back to the program, and then you press Control Shift Alt F5, and we have uh, changes reflected in the program. Um, so let's let's revert that. Control Z, save. Control Shift F5. Uh, Control Shift Alt F5. So, um, let me tell you about the icons. Uh, 
icons are the PNG files in each theme subfolder. So you see we have in the dark acrylic folder, we have file icons and folder icons. So file icons are um, icons that will be replaced for the each extension. So if I switch to the, sorry, uh, switch to the thumbnail view, you'll see each icon has a thumbnail. Let's go back to the default one. And then for the folder icons, oh, I don't have any. Yes, this is the, this, uh, if there is no icons, you, it will use, um, if it will use the default um, folder icons, this is, this is the one that sits in this file icons for the directory. Uh, so let me switch to a light theme by clicking the theme test and pressing F5. So you can see if in the default theme, if you don't have any um, file icons for a certain file type, it will use program default icons. So let's go back to, let's say, temp folder. Or now let's go to the demo. So you can see this is this is now the icon that uh, we have here. So this is for MP4. It will be automatically replaced. If you delete the file fol file icons and folder icons, it will just use the system folders. Uh, system icons, sorry. Um, so right now I'm looking mostly for feedback about editing themes. Most useful would be to have your thought process. What didn't make sense when you were cr uh, creating a theme? If there are inconsistencies in naming that you find? And other general feedback. Uh, so that being said, expect that some keys uh, on the theme will change in the future version according to your feedback which might break your theme until you rename those keys to the new names. So don't spend too much time on it. Uh, so that's it. Uh, you can find my email in this about dialog. And let me know what you think. And if you design something, you can send me the theme so I can test it out also. Cheers.